Alright, what's up guys? Poison here, and I feel so awkward facing downwards. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm back with another Aegis review. Now today is April 18th, 2016, and um, today I'm giving you a full review of Nectar Fruit Vapors Watermelon. So, is it gonna like... I still never figured out how to do this right. Uh, Nectar Fruit Vapors Watermelon. Um, I did the first impression review of this uh, Aegis on a Friday. I did it on, let's see, Friday... April 15th. Today is Monday, April 18th. So, you know, been vaping on it over the weekend. And this e-juice is almost gone, actually. This will be gone before Wednesday. Um, I have no idea when this video will come out, but there's some things I want to talk about with this bottle and with this flavor. And there will be a review on this mod, the Supremo by Spade, uh, pretty soon. Let me just... I want to kill the battery first before I do a review. Because the cool thing about this mod when the battery dies I want to show you guys. But, um... Let's start with the bottle. So, oh, child safety cap, it does have one. So, can't hear it, but it does have a child safety cap. You do need to push down. Um, relatively easy um, squeezing, you know, it's not too hard. I mean, it's not as easy as like my gnarly plumes. This is easy. This is kind of a little bit of work, but it is easy to push, trust me. Um, Relatively clear e-juice. It does not mess up your coil as you could see. Oh, this coil over here is messing up But this one right here is actually really nice, but for a 50-50 blend gives you good clouds and great flavor. So Let's back out and show you some clouds But yeah, good clouds, great flavor for a 50-50 blend. Um, so in the first impression, I said I didn't like this flavor. I said it had like a nasty taste to it. Um, after vaping on it for a while, like, you know, if you were just to burn your, you know, just fire it and redrip it. Oh, shit, it's already starting to get dry. If you were to fire it and redrip it and then fire it for a little bit and get like the cotton taste out of it, it tastes amazing. Like first initial drip is nasty but after that the flavor really comes out and it it shines it has great flavor um let's see what else did i say about the flavor it is basically just watermelon that's it there's nothing else to it um i guess nice label if you care about that thing even says the pgvg ratio 50 50 as you can see but um yeah it's just watermelon so Clouds and flavor are amazing, actually, and I have this at 60 watts. I don't think you could see the screen. 60 watts, 0.3 ohm coil, um, and it's doing great. Nice. It's nice, honestly. Um, but yeah, great flavor. That's the clouds are good, but the flavor is a, is better. The cloud or the flavor is gonna be better than the clouds. So review process. Would I buy it again? I say this all the time when I talk about would I buy it again. I would buy it again. I just want a bigger bottle. This 15 mil is, it's still lasting me. It's still good after literally all weekend of vaping, or Friday and all weekend of vaping, it lasted me. But um, definitely a bigger bottle would be enjoyable. I would kind of want to see um, a glass bottle, like, you know, a glass dripper one. That's what I would love to see. Um, the flavor is top notch. It's amazing. It's on point. Um, so would I buy it again? Yes. Would I recommend it? Yes. Is it worth trying? Yes. Am I happy I got it? Yes. Um, there's not much to say. It's just watermelon, but, you know, you could do some good clouds with it, and the flavor is seriously the best part of it. We're going to take a quick second drag. It's nice. It's good. Um, great thing. 50-50 blend. If you wanted to, you could run this on an Ego. Like, this, I keep bringing up Gnarly Plumes. Gnarly Plumes, you can't run this in an Ego. This is max VG juice. This will gunk up so bad and you can't vape it. This is 50-50. You could buy a little Ego and, you know, just start dripping and using it. So, it's a great juice that anyone could use. The Throat Hit is good. Um, great all-day vape. I keep forgetting this. It's an all-day vape. Um, tastes good with spearmint gum. With water, meh, not room temperature. Cold water would be best. And once again, I bring up what I do. When I run it through tests, I drink water, I chew gum, I vape it all day. So it's a great all-day vape, great with spearmint gum, great with cold water. 
Room temperature water is nah. And, you know, doesn't need that many redrips. And once again, I just love doing this. Look at this. The fireworks it produces. The fireworks it produces. Also, last night, as of recording this, um, I was up last night looking for new lenses for my camera. My Samsung HM200 or H200. Um, I want to buy a wide, a wide angle lens. Because this is a good view, but, you know, I kind of want to make it wider. Because I already have it at, like full width. You can't like go any wider. Um, I could go, um, I could zoom in, but I'm already fully zoomed out. So, you know, having a wide angle lens would zoom out even more and would be better in my opinion. Sure. You might see the camera or the microphone, but whatever. But, um, final cloud before we leave. It's just that easy. So guys, seriously, thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned next. In an hour after this video goes up, I will be putting out my top Zample box, you know. I'm officially done with Zample box. Um, SBX25 is literally right around the corner. Um, but I'm not done with Zample box. Like, it's a great service. I truly do love it. But um, with SBX25, and after a year of vaping, I want to try other juice outside of Zample box. So this will be my last Zample box video until maybe next year when I start vaping again. But, um,. Yeah, stay tuned for an hour after this video goes up, and I'll show you my top three sample box and in what order I rank everything. So, until then, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for that. Have an awesome day. Bye.